Well, hello everyone. It's our host here. It is Team Ira, and how are you doing on this Thursday's edition? I am doing quite well for myself. Anywho, I have social media accounts, but don't worry. I'll discuss that after this part of the video is over. Now, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain, and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject, and of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Now, in this video, it'd be strictly in an article. Now, in this video, it'd be like a old school type of video I want to discuss. Let's get into this. Now, back in the day of ECW One Night Stand, it was a very unique atmosphere. You have Mr. Money at Bank, RVD. He recently won it at Minia in Chicago, Illinois. I had never attended that event. It sold out less than five minutes or less at the Allstate Arena. I was very bummed out. And then you have the champion, John Cena, or how other people call him, Super Cena. He beat everybody in his path in that time frame. That's McMahon for you. So, <clears throat> listen to this. The former Dewey superstar, Rob Van Dam, also known as RVD, an abbreviation, recently spoke about his m most normal match during an interview with Chris Van. I cannot pronounce the last name. It really don't matter because I suck. You know, his big moment. I just say moment. Okay. I was so glad when he cashed it in on RVD. I'm sorry, when he cashed in on John Cena at one night stand. That place erupted. Can you imagine if W told John Cena you can retain the belt and people in the arena would be pissed off. Thank God it never happened because they said if John Cena wins, we'll riot. What if that happens? Would they really riot or not? Would it be telling the truth or would they be bluffing? What if? We will never know. You know? That was definitely an ECW environment. They need to go back there again for another special event like that. You know, I know they did it. I think. Overall, they did it twice, I think. I think. I'm not too sure. They should go back there again if that building's still intact. You know, still in good shape. You know, do like a special thing. They can't do it for WrestleMania because that's too small for WrestleMania. So, what are your thoughts on this? On this um, interview? What's your thoughts? Did you like the match? RVD versus John Cena? Of course, Edge can evolve. I think he got involved. Did he get involved? Or is it Paul Heyman? Somebody got involved. I forgot who it was. Yeah, it was Edge, wasn't he? He had a like, biker helmet on and he speared John Cena. Or it might think I'm someone else. So if if Edge never cost John Cena the title, will John Cena still be your champion in that time frame? What if, right? What if? It sucks that RV did not get a long, long title run. Because you know what happened. Him and Sabu did something stupid. So W found out. So I think on that episode of ECW on that Tuesday edition, they lost the belts. You know, RVD, I don't know about Sabu, but that's a different story. It's sad, you know? You know, we all know that RVD smoked weed, pot, and other stuff. So, I guess he wasn't thinking straight. If you guys never seen the video of RVD and Sabu, and the cop pulled him over, and the rest is history. So, it's it's still online to this day. Just look up online. So, it's pretty sad. You know how these wrestlers, they think they're immoral, but technically they're not immoral. So, I know everybody makes mistakes, and I guarantee is still on his permanent record, you know, RVD and Sabu. So, not looking that that was not looking good when I heard about that. Yep, he's gonna drop the belt, and he did to the big show. Unbelievable. And 
the rest is history. Can you just imagine if RVD never got pulled over? Can you imagine if he was a, a long champion in that time frame? I think it would be a pretty good champion. A long, long title run. I think they just want to give him to him because he was very good in the ring. His mic skills is dog crap at the time frame, not about now, but he was very good in, in the square circle. He won the ECW champion, the, the E championship. He won the hardcore champion. He won a lot of titles back in the day, even the original of ECW. He, this guy is a flipping amazing. This guy, in my opinion, I don't know if anybody agrees, should have been in the Hall of Fame already. Hopefully they'll put him in soon. Or maybe they should just have a special Hall of Fame just for the original of ECW. That'd be a good fit. Will that happen? Maybe Triple H will make that happen. Vince will never do that probably. So what's your thoughts? Do you think, in your opinion, that RVD deserves to be in the Hall of Fame? If so, should they make a special class for the ECW or they just put them in with the other Dewey superstar from the past? Let me know down below. I'm just curious. I love RVD. What is your favorite match of RVD? Him and Sabu. RVD versus Jerry Lynch. RVD versus John Cena. RVD versus Edge. RVD versus The Big Show or how I call it, The Big Slow. Um, he has a lot of great opponents. Of course, he's better when he was in ECW, the original ECW, because he went crazy, you know? His moves, when he went to WF slash W, they told him to tone it down because it's more, too much too much violent in his company. So, that sucks. So, there's a lot of wrestlers like that too, you know? They had to tone it down when he went to this company. Anyway, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, all my social media accounts will be down below. If you want to be part of the Robert Show, that's fine with me. If not, then don't worry about it. Now, tomorrow sometime will be in my Limitation Chamber predictions. So hopefully, a lot of you will check out my predictions. And Saturday will be, I go live in Living Color for the Chamber. The Royal Reigns Championship match with Sami Zayn and a Chamber match itself. The men's and the women's. I don't know how many Chamber matches we're going to get totally... But I'm gonna we'll go live. Hopefully, you guys will be participating. If not, it's okay. I tried. Peace out, and I'll see you guys tonight.